All right. New home for the chiller, and his cage is clean thanks to me. Jeff helped a little bit. Hi Zoe, yo yo yo. Hi. Zoe, yo 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 Zoe, yo 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 Zoe, yo 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 What's that? Strawberry. Yeshiva. What's out here? Motor. Yeah, we're gonna get the motor. Yay! So this treadmill is fine, perfectly good treadmill, except yeah. that one we never use that it. One, I don't care. Just and two, oh it. hi wasp. Hey Hello. Dad, this is Meat Looker. eating insectoid. Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> did you just take a chunk of that dead slug? Awesome. So, this treadmill's fine, except that one would never use it, so it's worthless. Um, it's a little crusty, you know, as it, as it is. And the belt is um, warped, so it doesn't... It doesn't work, Well, Daddy. frankly, it doesn't work, Joshua. Yeah. So, this is trash to us. Yeah. Because it's not really in good enough condition to give away. But, Daddy. I want to take it apart. Daddy and take out the power supply and the electric motor because okay, those Daddy. are very powerful. Real Daddy. And you can do whatever you Is want with real those. Daddy. And they're perfectly fine. Okay, get it out. I mean, it has a throttle. It has an electric motor. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because I'm thinking go-kart one day. Okay, one Daddy. day. And who would be riding, driving, operating said go-kart? I wonder if it's a certain fat boy. <laughs> so, dreams for the future out of junk from today. That is what I call upscaling. And I get to do my old thing. I used to have a house full of small electronics because we had no kids. And I used to uh, do cleaning and repairs on gaming consoles. That's a little moonlighting thing at work. And I wasn't very good at it, but I wasn't very bad at it either. <laughs> so I provided a little bit of benefit and got a lot of experience. I probably produced more saleable merchandise out of junk than uh, destroyed junk. <laughs> but the nice thing about working with junk, it's a lot nicer when you're working with two hands, by the way. So the nice thing about working with junk, ask the ladies, is it's already broken in the first place. So, all you're doing is increasing value. Joshua, if you touch those screws, I'm going to remove your fingers. Where's my screws? Okay, put them back, please. You don't move my things, because I'm working here. Working? Yeah, I don't want to move them. Maybe there's a place we can put them? Yeah. Put right here. Yeah. Yeah. And put there. Put all the pieces there. It's okay. I know the pieces fit because I watched them get lost by Joshua. Okay. It is difficult to pair up my brain with Joshua's brain because Joshua is a do boy. He is the HD to my ADD. Yeah, you can help me, Joshua. Do you have a screwdriver? Can you go find a screwdriver? I did find a honey one. Hmm. But we don't. But we can't find the screwdriver, Teddy. Yeah. So we're just gonna be driving screws today, and maybe we'll talk about I life. I got my screwdriver, okay? With the corn. Totally you found your screwdriver? Okay, can you work on the screws over there? Okay. Yeah, go work on a screw. Okay. Is it big ones because, like, that's too big? I believe you, Zoe Oe. Yeah, yeah. This is the key. And I, back and you this. can just use a hammer. Yeah, what would the hammer do? Would it break things? Oh, I want him to come out though. I have broken straw. Is it not working? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's too big. Yeah. Hmm. I, I 
wonder what I'm going to see when I take this panel off. Probably uh, electronics, huh? These are self-setting screws, aren't they? Daddy, I'm going to find one. Well, maybe they're not. I don't think they are self-driving screws. I think they're made to drive through this plastic. This thin layer of plastic. But it looks like the holes were pre-drilled on this. Daddy, maybe they use I found my breakfast, Daddy. Self-setting yeah. screws anyway. Because they have that little... Breakfast. Yeah, these are self-setting screws. Here it is. Yeah. All right. What are we looking at here? Out here. This? That rotor. Obviously, if this was plugged in, it would not be safe to play around yeah. with a tool here. But it looks like there's the brain. There's the... Um, this plugger is this red. There's a computer. This is a big, bulky electric engine, as you can see, with a flywheel. So this gives it some momentum. And then here is your drive, which is a belt drive. We've got a small wheel to a big wheel. Daddy. So this will do more rotations yeah, than that one. And right it has the momentum of that flywheel behind it. Whoa, so what is this? Guys. This is a high torque Daddy, ratio work, electric engine. Can I see the engine. So this between this and that, um, yeah, we have a drive. And this is the brain, and it'll be connected to the control panel. Yeah, and this is your power supply. And then this is the power supply. Daddy, and here are some pieces from a board game that I've been missing for ages. Daddy. I love that board game. Oh, there's even a voltage diagram? Wow. <laughs> but I mean, this plugs right into the wall. So if you, can simulate, if you can simulate the wall in a mobile package, really all you need to make this run is a body with some wheels on it. And or a wheel inside. And a uh, power supply that puts out wall voltage. Go make a video. You're recording. Yeah. Don't shut that, or it will turn it off. Joshua, you want to go with Zoe? Okay, so let me something. Over here. And then over here. Hey guys. I know you're retorting right now, so there is trash cans right here. This is the one that has says garbage, and I don't know if the sun will set. So today the sun is up light, up light. And this sunlight, we just started this video, so let's see what's inside. What's inside today? I wonder what's inside. What is inside? With strawberries. Yeah. I put strawberries out there. So this is the belt tensioner. It rotates this whole assembly and allows you to tension or untension the belt. Which is okay. how this is driven. So this is the engine. Um, there's a spider there. Uh-huh, that's okay. I'm not afraid of spiders. This is the engine. This is the ground. You can tell because it's attached to metal. So this will be power. This is a breaker, a circuit, a circuit breaker. So there will be another power here coming from. This is a converter. How about I put the camera somewhere? 
Okay, I can hold it. So listen, this yeah. is a present for you. You can have it. Yeah, thank you. Do you want to go pretend to work on things? Do you want me to show you how to use it? Well, I am going to use it on the treadmill on that. Okay, go use it. I know you're supposed to use these things on this. Yeah, I see it. It's too big. Yeah. You use it on the tiny one. Okay, yeah. See, you can pretend. What are you using, Joshua? I want to use the wrench. You want to use the wrench? Yeah. Why don't you watch me on this one? Can you help me hold it? Okay. I can also okay. pretend this is a little hammer. So you hold this one. Can you hold it, Joshua? I will hold it. it. I will hold it. Don't cry, little man. I know you want to do it all. So come here and let me show so you. So we're going to remove that. It's got the little plastic section there that's made to grip the threads so it doesn't vibrate off. Kachiga, it's not that kind of tool. And um, then we remove this bolt, and this will be free. It's still connected to the electricals, which we're going to go ahead and just leave it that way if we can. And then these electricals disconnect easily, I think. Daddy. So this should all come apart, and then we'll take apart all of the body and take out the... Um, Daddy. Well, everything. So I guess we could disconnect the... Um, electrical converter first, or Daddy. next, I should say. Yes, little woman. On mine is sparkles. Ooh, hey, let's check if yours works on this one. Uh, it doesn't quite fit. How about this one? Hmm, I wonder. Fit. It doesn't fit. No, that's too big for this little screw. So we'll use a screwdriver. Okay. Screwdriver. You see how it? It's called driving a screw when you. Put it in or take it out, and this one is a little bit stripped. And you know how Phillips, you know how Phillips are. You know how they do. You don't need this wrench. You don't need this wrench. We might be able to use the socket for that if we have a small enough. We don't have the right size socket. It's also not very good. I want the baby screwdriver. If you don't need it, I will take it. Take this. I look forward to having it lost forever. I love you, little goblin. Did you have it lost forever when you were living? Somebody overdrove the piss out of this screw. It's self-driving. Again, not again. it's a cheap Daddy. version of self-driving. Meant Password. to go into plastic or something. Password. They dented the metal with how hard they drove that in. So, Password. I mean, that's in there. Okay, so last thing to do is, well, on this end, is undo this bolt. Drop the engine. Everything else is free hanging down here, so it'll all come together. And then the last thing we gotta do is thread the control schema. Through there. Okay, so this is the um, output belt, the, <laughs> the, the running belt. Uh, tensioner right here so this moves this goes straight into the axle that drives this wheel and this wheel this bar through this wheel which applies to the belt which went on the engine so now the engine dropped through the gap that we widened out by pushing this back by loosening this screw if we loosen this all the way this entire assembly should come free. This is just a bar in socket, so that'll pull straight through. Vis-a-vis. Um, -vis, um, can we remove this yet? Almost. 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 All right, this come up. Ooh, we finally found some shipboard. I was waiting for that. Oh, this is broken. I don't mind. Plastic trash. Where's the trash? In there. So, here we go. This pulls through. There we go. All right, all drive components disconnected. Now it's all just chassis and one electrical connection. So we still have to feed the control board or the control interface 
through there, the wires at least. So this is a nice, a nice piece of shielding. Good rain protection for something. Very, very durable. Uh, not highly UV resistant, but highly water resistant. So maybe if you painted that, it would last forever. And then this is our control surface. Excuse me. So this will still drive the engine just like that. There was a probe that that uh, monitors the the rate of the track that I disconnected. So hopefully this will all function without the probe because if it does, then we have a go-kart engine, the entire drive system. So this would be your speed. <laughs> and um, all you need to do is hook it up to power. So an emergency power supply that puts out wall power, like I mentioned, and then you literally just uh, mount this on a, on a, on a go-kart chassis plug it into a power supply and play. All right, one thing left to do, we gotta take these wires here. Oh, we should take these crusty batteries out. Gabbage. So it also needs three AA batteries for the control output. But if if that doesn't work, I'm sure you could just hotwire this. Because uh, that electric motor can be driven by anything. So you just got to give it the right juice and it'll go. And it even has the, the converter. So that should all function after a, a stiff brushing. And then I'll probably have to take this panel off and either disconnect these wires from there or disconnect them from the other end. Okay, we took those off to reveal a second brain and a third brain. And then this is probably, what, we got two circuits going through there with no ground. So this would be a low voltage, I think. Then would this be your your health info BS. That's interesting, they still have, they got a bunch of capacitors. Are those capacitors? No, those are resistors built into the board. Yeah, so those would be probably um, for limiting current. Delicate electronical right there. So, if we unplug these three, this, what is this? It's a switch, right? Is that a switch? And we got one, two, going, going where? Going to the engine, and then your, your three here. So if I unplug this, this is just a regular clip. Is there a latch somewhere? Yeah, so that's right here. So I think this will be a screwdriver job for a flatty. Where's my flatty squad at? God loves flatties. All right. Okay, the brain is free. Yeah, this side is the low voltage side that has the had the sensor running to it. Or the probe, I should say. And then this side is the high voltage side that uh, is connected directly to the motor. So throttle and brain. Yeah, your little fitness computer stuff. It's all on that chip. So probably superfluous. I don't know if you want to know your heart rate while you're while you're running. Oh shit! I'm dropping screws here. How many am I losing? Not very many. Okay, one, two, three, four, six. That sounds about right. We'll put them in there. And then these wires will all come through. So I'll feed these wires through the panel, through this, 
and then through that access port out there and it will all be disconnected from the frame. Okay, all drive components successfully disassembled, disconnected. So we've got our throttle there. It needs power into that switch and it needs that uh, the three wires into that that they're compatible with. And that will interface through, yep, through this right here. And then this is where that switch connects, sorry. The on button is where the switch connects. And then your three uh, cables that go into the throttle uh, go through that little bar there. So they should function independently because they're wired independently, these two, from the health info side which is connected to these batteries. So we don't need batteries to operate this. The batteries operate the health info uh, interface and feedback which connects only to a probe that goes down and monitors the RPM of the drive. So and then it probably hooks up to your wrist strap as well right here. Yeah. So there's where it hooks up to your wrist strap. This is all superfluous so it has nothing to do with the intended function of this new hardware. I can lose all of this. All I need is that switch hooked up to two or three <laughs> that are designed for it. And uh, those just clip right on. Clips and then a three prong that is part of the same wiring assembly. So very simple wiring for this. You saw the that's the throttle. Here is the drive shaft. Here is the drive belt, here is the engine, and here is the entire wiring harness which goes to that computer, hooks up to this uh, power converter, and then that hooks up to the, uh, that's a good question, the power plug right here, which is also all connected through this plastic. So, it's all together, it's all very dead simple electronics with um, only one circuit board interacting that's connected directly to the throttle. And then a switch that goes to the on off button on the same control panel. Coolness, very cool. So this is a go-kart uh, that's just missing wheels and a frame and uh, an emergency power supply. How many of y'all motherfuckers got a go-kart in a box? There it is. So there's a control end. So throttle and switch. And here's everything else. It all fits into that nice tight little package.